Hello and welcome to another robotic process automation demo using the technology from IBM and Automation Anywhere. Today we're going to focus on a scenario around HR onboarding. So imagine that I'm an HR administrator and every day I receive a spreadsheet that looks something like this. Now here we only have four rows in the spreadsheet, but you can imagine that I may have hundreds or thousands of lines that I need to process and most of this has to be done manually. In addition, I not only have to take th that information and pass it down the line in, in my business process, I also have to look up each of those managers in my tool that is a custom coded application. It's a Java application that was grown in-house. So in this tool, I open it up and I have to t manually type the manager's last name or full name in order to find out what department and what location that person's working in. So for example, McGregor, and I click look up, I see that it's this department and this location. And now I have to do that and copy and paste that into my spreadsheet for every single new hire that shows up. And then I have to manually start my workflow uh, in order to kind of pass it downstream to other participants in the process. Now, instead of doing that, we could automate this process using robotic process automation. And that's going to allow me to focus more on value add activities and also make my life a lot easier. So the way that we do that is I'm gonna open up the bot creator and this is the Automation Anywhere developer tool. And we can see that we have a number of different bots created here. The one I'll focus on is this trigger employee onboarding. And we can set this to start a variety of different ways. So for example, uh, we can start it on a schedule. So it can be on a timer to start once a day or once a week. It can also be set to a trigger. In our case, we've set it to a folder watching this uh, temp RPA folder for any new documents that get added there. We can also set this to other types of triggers. It could be a service, it could be other kinds of processes starting, an email being received. So there's a number of different ways that we can trigger this process or even start it manually if I know that I need help right now. And we call that assisted automation. Now the end goal of this is to pass this along to the workflow tools. So we're also gonna show how we can invoke actual native integration services like a REST API in order to uh, work with other applications. So it works with the, uh, the current human interfaces that, that the UIs that um, humans work with today, but it can also work with backend services like databases and, and web services and messaging. Now the actual configuration looks something like this. And this looks a little like code, but rest assured, it is not code. It is actual configuration scripts. Each one of these lines represents a configuration option that I've established. And in fact, the bulk of this, I actually created using this record feature. So you click record, and similar to recording a macro in Word and Excel, you can, the system will actually watch you and save and record everything that you're doing within the entire desktop application. And so, whether it's a browser, it's recording the uh, HTML elements and IDs. If it's a uh, Windows application like a Java form or a .NET form, it will capture the COM components and the names so that it can reference those. And if it can't do those, it will still re rely on the screen location and other references that we can set. Uh, so working with mainframe applications, for example, we can capture information and enter information in. Um, as I go through this, you can see there's also specific functions around things like Word and Excel. So for example, when we uh, get all the cells from a spreadsheet, we see that it's actually focused on the Excel object itself. And so each of those uh, components and, and script options are specific to the different artifacts in the palette on the left-hand side. So you can see we have a number of different options, very robust features here that I can drag in to my bot in order to perform the way that I want it to. And it also allows me to do things like uh, exception handling, if then else, loops. And so there's a number of different options here that I can configure and customize as needed. And I can also condense certain pieces of logic down into what we call metabots. Metabots are reusable components that we can reuse over and over again. Uh, and so as we build out our library of bots, it's very important to start capturing some of that logic, that reusable component into a Metabot. Okay, let's get started. So the way that this bot is going to run is again, that Excel spreadsheet being dropped into that temp directory. But before I do that, I'm gonna show the nothing up my 
sleeves screen. This is the IBM workflow tool. We can see basically the task list is empty. At the top right, we see I have zero open tasks at the moment. Uh, and what I'd like to do is watch that climb, in this case, to four new tasks because I have four items in that spreadsheet. So this is basically the recipient of the automation that we're doing, but the end, end game could be whatever we want. It could be to send an email, it could be simply to uh, save that information to another file or to a database, but in our case, it's going to open the spreadsheet, look up the manager names individually, and then pass that information into individual tasks in the workflow tool. So let me bring up the files, and as soon as I copy the spreadsheet and paste it into my temp directory, I'm going to take my hands off the keyboard and mouse, and you'll watch on the bottom right of the screen, you'll see the bot wake up. So the trigger is started, it's opened the spreadsheet, it's opened the employee directory, and it starts typing. So that is the bot actually typing in the information. It's going to pass that information off to the workflow tool. And I also had to slow down the bot so that it looked like it was actually typing. If we were to leave this uh, to go full strength, it would be um, going faster than we could even watch it. And now notice at the top right hand of the screen you see that there are tasks being added into the into the system. Uh, and once we get to the last uh, new hire, it will delete the spreadsheet and our bot will close. So now going into the workflow tool, we see that I do indeed have four new tasks. And within each of those tasks, we'll see that it has the enriched information, not just the data and, and uh, info from the spreadsheet, but also the department and the location of where that person will be working. I hope you enjoyed this very quick demo of Automation Anywhere and IBM's uh, robotic process automation tool. And we look forward to seeing you again soon.